because the parachute might not open. Can you? That's his personal risk. He wants to do the parachute jump, so he's weighing up. The risk of death, he puts over the danger because he wants to do it. That's your personal choice, and that's the personal choice is your personal freedom. All right? Yeah? That's why you can say some cars are not as safe as other cars. You can, but you can't say, well, that's not fair, because when you buy that car, you weigh up that risk because you either buy the top of the range Mercedes with every dancing whistle on it going all safety features or you buy the um, Ford Escort or Ford Fiesta don't you that's it's passed all the tests but it would never stand up to a crash like the Mercedes would right so that personal choice is the risk element which is why you can have a car and not have to buy a Mercedes it's across the board. That's what we have to be careful that we don't lose sight of. The fact that your freedom is the freedom to choose. The same as if someone wants to kill themselves, that's their right. And I mean, I know not anyone can stop them. All right? But that's your right, really. You know, say you're not well, and or you, even if you just absolutely fucked off with everything completely. You're right. They t try and take that right off you, saying it's a risk. It's your risk that you want to take. You don't want to live anymore. No one should be able to stop you, even if it's just because you've had enough. I know it sounds mad, but if you take them things off you, everyone loses everything else around them. Personal freedom is personal choice. Basically. Um, but again... We have to respect this because I can't put someone in danger. Right? But if he's willing to take the risk, and she's willing to take the risk, there should be no government be able to stop that. You shouldn't... Sorry. No. And again, like, with you can't go more far away from your house. If you've got a car, you should be able... You can. I could get in a car now on this drive, and I could drive to Scotland. Right? And I would never have spread anything to anybody because I would have been in my car. All right, I might have stopped and got a mat. Well, stopped and got something to eat on the way because like, they're still doing that, aren't they? All right. I don't know where that lies, but I mean, can you still go to. You will be able to. Yeah, you can still do that. So therefore, there's no difference, is it? You know, because there's a level of risk working at this moment in time and they, they can't stop that. You know, this is where it becomes a bit ludicrous because. Say you work in the food industry and you've been in work today. You then go home to where your eight-year-old grandma who's uh, on treatment for cancer. You, you're still going in that house, aren't you? I think we'll see all this change very quickly, basically, is what I'm saying. I've got a feeling. I'm usually pretty, pretty close. You know, a, a private message says to see. I was watching three weeks. What's the deaths, you see? You know, because the opposition for this will come out through... Not you. Do you get what I mean? Do you, do you understand what I'm saying? There's other people having opinions and, and they will come out. They'll just come out. They always do. And that's because you live in a free society. You see? All right? You know, the pressure of opinion changes things as I say it's public opinion that protects you and protects me alright when it gets too ludicrous and people have had enough they have to bow down they've just got no choice because they're only I know they, they, they don't but well they like to not they like to try and play games around that but they're actually there to represent us see the will of the people you know this should have had a vote every house should have got a vote on what to do like look at the Sweden model they're isolating if they feel unwell they're keeping the distance but they've not closed anything down and uh, when they go home they get their own houses a lot younger so they're not all going home to the mums and dads like this country that's 
broke everyone all the way through for the past 10 years at least. So that kids end up living at their homes till they're about 45. You know what I mean? So in Sweden, that's the model to watch, you see. You know, everyone's going, oh, they'll be fucking this and that for Sweden. We'll see, won't we? Because I don't think unless you're sweating your back out, you're transmitting this that much. Do you get what I mean? You, 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 yeah, I just don't see that. You, yeah, you'll be leaving a little bit of it as you go around, but not like... No. Probably need some transferal of saliva. You know, I, I wouldn't have even thought you'd catch it walking behind someone breathing out real. I wouldn't have thought, but I'm not an expert. And we're doing that anyway, so it doesn't matter, does it? Yeah? Um, you know what I mean? I'm, I'm listening to Pi. I'll have to go back and watch the rest of it. It's only about drinking turpentine. I don't think we need to. <laughs> Jam Zen saying drink bleach. I don't think we need to drink bleach or turpentine. I don't think we need to do anything. You know, 12 to 18 months, these things vanish. Anyway, as they cop recopying and recopying, they just break down and they end up joining... The fossil record in DNA of your great 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 grandchild. Boom boom. That's what they do. A very strange thing. Tomorrow, look into viruses and have a look. It's quite interesting. I can't give a lecture on it. I'm not there yet, but I'll, I'll keep going. And when I'm confident, I'll try and explain it. It's all a bit fucking weird. Yeah. Uh, very weird but they're just there they're everywhere because we're trying to find what the use is you know what i mean i thought well they must break things down on, on dead bodies and carcasses but no apparently not they sort of serve no purpose whatsoever but they're just there a bit like the government <laughs> i like that one what are you doing? You're going stir crazy. <laughs> Seven point eight billion of us. He said to me one point four before I said. If half of the world's population died, it's as disastrous as it'd be. I said, it wouldn't fucking stop mankind, would it? Which is really what it's all about, if you know what I mean. I'm not saying like everyone died, but you know what I'm saying? Like, that's the real objective. You know, we're not going to be able to run at these numbers forever anyway. Luckily, things will change that, and it, it won't be enforced by death camps, like, you know what I mean? Like, what happens is, as the planet becomes more technically advanced and that technology spreads, right? it's a bit like the, the planet becomes wealthier, even though it's not physical wealth, that numbers of births slowly drop down because you no longer need nine kids. You needed nine kids 100 years ago for three to survive and look after you. It was like your pension. But it's all changing that now. Them three kids are probably going to get through till you die. So when we get to, I think it's 90 billion, 100 billion, we'll naturally start to come back down like the virus. Um, or in other words, and there's other ways around that as well, like, because you could actually say, you know, I think we can all agree that, you know, two child policy worldwide. You know, that could kick into effect. And then if you have an extra kid, you have to pay for it. I don't know. But you know, that's another way of reducing it without killing everybody, if you get what I mean. Because if we carry on like these sick, sick cunts at the top, they might end up coming out up with the other idea. And that's, you know, far worse than coming up with a decent idea of lowering the world's population slightly, slowly, over time, nicely, without... Doing anyone's heads in. 
and uh, get hold of the world population that way because you don't really need 100 billion people for the gene to carry on you only need 10 you only need 2 and the real objective is us you know, to get through and keep this gene which is us going isn't it what I mean, like black and white, one day in the future will be irrelevant. This will be, you know, as it becomes more irrelevant, cultural differences are more in your face than colour. See, so mankind is getting somewhere slowly in many ways that we don't actually, we don't realise it. It's hard to see, especially under the programming of, well, basically racism. And racism is only genetic. You know, they say it's like your biggest love is your kids and, and, well, it's your kids, isn't it? You know, you do more to keep them alive than you would for someone you didn't know, hopefully. So, therefore, that's genetic and then that's where racism comes in. But the future of the planet will not be to be have all these different colours on it, although they will be there because that never goes, apparently. Another thing like where we worry, but well, and why should you worry? I don't want any black grandchildren. You know, why? 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 It's up with you. Sick cunts. I'm not saying you should, but I'm just saying it shouldn't like affect. Like, you know, like we do it, like we think it. Because we do it and we do think like that, don't we? A lot of people. It's all they fucking think about, isn't it? A lot of people. Hate um, because of that reason. I said to my mate, I said, Racism, it's sort of like they did a test and they get. 100 black people or brown people and they get 100 white people and they sit them in front of this monitor and they play pictures and they've got their art monitored and when they send these pictures through it'll show a brown hand get stabbed with a pin and then just as it goes through it'll show a white hand get stabbed with a pin and the heart elevation goes up so then they do it with the coloured people if you're allowed to say that you know what you're allowed to say and they do it, and when the white hand's getting stabbed, there's nothing that well, it's calm. And then when they see a brown hand, so then they said, Well, racism is sort of built in, you know, it's actually built into it. and that's because your objective is your genes. When in reality, there's no difference between you and any other colour. Apart from your programming. But people say, that's not true. Well, they, whatever. But they're wrong, aren't they? It's just wrong. Just wrong. Like, they're wrong about a lot of things. Get a butt. Can you get a butt? That's another thing. They're selling like fuck on the internet, aren't they? Like this advert went up and it says, buy all your furniture. <laughs> Just before we all got locked down the night before. This boat said, oh, we're smashing it. They sell things online. He said because everyone's at home now and they're bored. So they're just flicking through the dollar, buying things through boredom. So it's a strange lockdown, isn't it? If the virus can 
travel on a cardboard box to say, well, you can still buy what you want, but you can't meet your girlfriend, which they've now backed down on. Because they'll be in as much fear at the top, believe it or not. If it, if it sets off, no one wins, do they? They don't win. No one wins. It can go tits right up. This is a dangerous gamble. Well, Boris wanted to go with the Swedish idea in the beginning, didn't he? But it looks like powerful fucking people around him weren't going to fucking settle for that, in my opinion. I think Trump, Trump wanted to go that way as well. But they realise that they're not leaders of anything. But what whatever's happened in Sweden, they've given the two fingers salute, haven't they? So we'll go this way. So they're the numbers to watch because the minute they, it's, it appears that they're doing just as well as everybody else, this has to blow away overnight, and the pressure will be put on the internet to the government because we'll soon suss that one out, and that's why I'm saying it's a waiting game. As all things are. I don't do videos this long, but being as you've got nothing else to do tomorrow. It doesn't really matter, does it? Stand your ground in your mind. So the mind will crack. And uh, they know this in the Houses of Parliament. You know, you might be in your house, you might be pretty sorted financially, and you might have three kids and your wife's there, and your, your brother in law, maybe, you know, because he lives there anyway, you know, and you've got a nice unit. So you, it's like Big Brother, isn't it? But like, stick someone in a glass box on their own, and it's another story, isn't it? Waiting for the government to help, no help comes. They can't get the, they can't put any credit on the phone, so they're internet blind, and they can't fucking ring anyone up. Waiting for the money to come through. In the flat on their own, they can't even knock on the neighbours for it. See if they can lend them a can of beans. That's TikTok. TikTok. <sighs> you might see me go insane. Well, I already am. You know what I mean, like, you know, over the weeks now you might see my videos go from totally fucking losing it. Crack up. Just as susceptible to cracking up as anybody else. Ah, uh -uh. Yeah, of course. It made me laugh watching Brother Johnny went, well, I'll do this anyway, so doesn't matter that you do it anyway, it's the fact that you can't. Yeah, you could do anything tomorrow because you knew that you could do it, but now you can't, that's the head foot. You wouldn't have done it anyway, but now you suddenly feel the urge. You know, some people have got their holidays booked and they'd have been flying out today, wouldn't they? Poor bastards. And they're trying to get the money back, they can't get the money back. Everything's going to crumble around that and end up, you know, that uh, that holiday they've bought, they'll go under and they won't be able to get now back off it, will they? Just think of all the comments you could have left on this Ultimate Fighter. I mean, Ultimate Fighter, fancy calling yourself Ultimate Fighter. And the, I mean, how old are you, mate? They're about fucking 12. Ultimate fighter. But when you go on his channel, there's not a video up. Not even of him talking, nothing. It's like a right pain in the arse floating around the internet. 
trying to wind people up because they don't agree with them. I can't cope with what they're saying. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you can't comment now, can you, mate? Good. When I actually hook up to a computer, I'll, I'll let you back in. But I don't know when that's going to be. So I'll just put you on. You're grounded. You're double grounded. You're grounded and you're grounded again off cross one. <laughs> huh? After this, I might go and troll Reboot the Matrix and Rebel Rhymes for being cowards. Right? It's a good job they are being cowards because otherwise they could be killing people, couldn't they? But see how shitbaggy they are. We all know how they feel, but they won't say it. Because they're so scared of the system that they're trying to make you fight. And neglect your own safety. I bet they fucking wear bin bags when they go out to the shop for the mums. <laughs> oh, it's a fucking joke, you two people. Don't fall for it. Don't fucking fall for it. Good Lord. Years ago, I'd fallen for it, but not too far. Fuck that. I knew it was, there was scams galore on here. When David Icke said the Queen turned into a lizard, I thought, right, that's it, I've had enough now. And I started uploading as well, saying, fuck these cunts. Fucking, play it fucking a bit straight down the line, you know what I mean? Motherfuckers. Motherfuckers. Wuhan was predicted in a book by says well it probably was you know what I mean probably was 1981 or something I think he said Pies I got video where he says that I actually when he were upload when he went live I uploaded it did a video package it's only a few down go and watch it and see what you think when you get to that point I don't know how far in it is might be a quarter of the way in uh Predictive programming. It's a bit of a coincidence, isn't it? That a book predicts Wuhan's going to have a virus come out of it. 40 years ago. I haven't read the book, obviously I've seen it. I, mean, I don't know, but I'll take, I'll take his word for it. I'm sure if you look, it'll be there. There'll be loads of, in, yes, in, what's the word, synchronicities. Though if you look around, I would imagine. Covid's like Triffid, isn't it? Day of the Covid. Day of the Triffid. 19, 1 and 9, 1 and 0, binary code. Or number 10, number 10, Scotland Yard, number 10, Downing Street. The power number in 2020. If you want to go numerical and all that, fucking, like, you, cause you can. It's all weird shit, isn't it? When you look on, I mean, I go down all them rabbit holes, <clears throat> slamming you with thirty threes on this motherfucker, aren't they? And the forty fours, one four fours. But it doesn't mean it's not real. I mean, if it is, it, well, say it might, what, even if it's toxic, toxicity is much lower. You know, that's a good scam element, isn't it? <clears throat> it's hard to say, isn't it? Because you don't know, do you? Well, I know we, we've got good ideas and each personal person, each, we've all got our individual opinion. But to fucking put your hat on what you think is quite a, a it's a tricky day.